Hello, beautiful, amazing world. And you individual, you. Today, I would like to speak about practice every day, all day. We have all time every day to become conscious in the moment. When you become conscious in this moment, it is practice. How, how much can you be here? How much can you stay in this active living consciousness? In this active living, in this, you, you have everything you need as long as you study the concepts correctly. If you study morals, ethics, spirituality, meditate and contemplate with your own power, use your own thoughts to reflect upon different topics of the world, you are practicing. Your inner world becomes independent of your outer. Your outer is only the vessel, the instrument, while your soul, spirit is your unmanifest light and unspoken word in a sense. And the body over time becomes more in sync with the soul and spirit where they are more in harmony with each other. And the funny thing about human beings is every human being have the same faculties at least in seed form. Thinking, feeling and willing. When you get to know yourself as a human being, when you get to know who you are in this moment, here and now, and practice this over time, you see, in, you see reflections of yourself in everyone. Because you see what is universally human. When you find out what is universally human, you can actually start to be a healing force in this world. This requires also selflessness and active fighting against egotism and narcissism. It's so easy to become arrogant and become feeling good because you are better than others, but you are not really better than others. You are just different. And different does not mean better, ever. Different means that you actually use your own faculties, your own power, to find out who you are as an individual. When you become an individual, you have responsibilities for the world around you and yourself. The responsibility is to be caring, nurturing and loving to yourself. Once you become loving to yourself, you become loving to the world. Once you start loving your thoughts, loving your feelings, Loving your will to act in a true and moral and ethical manner. In a loving, nurturing, nursing manner. You would like to see that in other human beings too. This nur nursing back to our conscious state of living. This active, scholarly way of living. Where you study more or less everything that comes into this consciousness. Every inspiration, every imagination, every thoughts, concepts, emotions and turbulences here in this part. To not only live up here, but to use your whole body for thinking. It requires to pay off some karma to reach certain stages. It will always come in something that is uncomfortable, something that we have to work through. But if you say... I consciously work through this. I know with trust and faith that this will be for the betterment of everyone and yourself. They will help you in trying to understand this. It even helps speaking out aloud to yourself. Speak to yourself. Uh, for example, what I do is I discuss with myself and I reflect with myself like I am two, three human beings. But I am one, of course. I am not crazy in that regard. But I use different versions of myself from different perspectives to see things in, more, in a more variety of sense. That brings about a 
way of seeing a, the picture, the big picture in details, but you see the big picture too. It is really hard to sit in the, because there are, to sit in this presence because there are so much movement, so much. It happens all the time, and then you will have to master where you focus. Get, are you woo, getting distracted another way? Are you getting distracted by a thought? Are you getting distracted by wanting to take up your phone? You see this. This is drifting, and that is. More or less the devil taking you away for the moment. But sit here. Sit in this moment. Always. Even if your whole body is shaking. And try to calm. Because here in this moment is healing. Here you gain inspiration for healing. And consciousness. We are meant to be self-aware. We are meant to see ourselves. Kind of outside of ourselves. Connecting to a a higher way of being. When you see another human being, you see a brother or a sister. There are no nothing lesser than. Their actions, what they do might be lesser than. But that is one or two or some here and there. Of course, if you are constantly, constantly repeating actions and thoughts and feelings, you become those things. And it and like thoughts and like feelings comes out from that body. What you nourish your mind and your body and your spirit with daily is just as important as the food we eat. It is nourishment too. So where do we focus this nourishment? Where do we focus? We focus here and now. Here and now is what's important. Of course, we go to the past to learn from it through our memories. There we can find a whole lot of strengths that we have that we have gathered through our whole lifetime, through our struggles, through our pain. And we can choose to become cold after all this pain and behave like everyone else and become cold. Or you can understand another human being through that pain because you do not want to expose such pains to another human being. You want to make them feel safe. You want them to feel like a human being, seen individual. It's a practice and it's a choice. We choose this every day, every moment. Where do you put your consciousness? Where is your focus? The focus, the intention, it's so important. How much are we distracted by everything else? Here and now is where everything is. Here and now is where you can absorb everything now. It's where you can learn from it now. You listen to it and you put concepts in visualization and clairvoyance. And you start slowly but surely to understand where, what is this consciousness we have? What are a human being? What are animals? What are plants? What are minerals? And so on. And we individually have our own choices. How much can you individual put choice into what you do? You also see that I never give you, I never give you do this, that and that and you become like me. No, I show you do with your own power, these things, and you can gain the freedom to choose for yourself. Every single individual needs to wake up and choose to work for the betterment of all together. We can't be in masses half asleep and, and behaving like everyone else. You need to rip yourself out of that dark mass and become colorful again. We are a colorful, beautiful soul that needs this exposure to love, for self-love. When you give yourself love in this moment, it's the same as if anyone else gives you love, except it's stronger and you can regulate it for yourself. You don't need to wait for others to give you what you need. 
you give you what you need in this moment. That is why this presence, the more you can anchor yourself here in active, conscious, reflective, feeling, thinking and willing, here and now, here, with your ego, with your I, with your Christ consciousness, or the Christ in me, then you can become aware of what you are. And it is also sublime and beautiful and reverent. And I wouldn't want any I wouldn't want it any other way. It is true too interesting to see what happens. And nothing nothing is too much or too little. Best is to stay in the middle, of course. The middle between too much and too little. So that we don't let ourselves go in frivol frivolity or duty. It is that middle loving ground. May the divine guide us all on this beautiful path to growth and evolution and love. Love you all. Thank you for watching me. And goodbye.